All right. Um, here is an example of the good old ball drop from a hand surface bouncing up the ground repeatedly problem. Yeah, yeah. You see this a lot in um, calculus textbooks along with um, pre-calculus textbooks when you're dealing with geometric sequences. Because what we have is a bouncing ball. I'm going to try this out. See my bouncing ball. There you go. Look at bounces. Isn't that neat? All right. So what we're doing, we have this bouncing ball. All right. It's dropped from a surface or dropped on a hard surface. It takes a sequence of vertical bounce. So it goes up and down and up and down and up and down. And each bounce is two fifths, two fifths as high as the preceding one. All right. If the ball is dropped from 10 feet, okay. So if we think about this, dropped from 10 feet. All right, 10 feet right here. All right, find the total distance. So we're going to find the total distance. All right, it has traveled when it hits the surface the fifth time. Okay, so I like to draw this out. And so what's happening is this ball is coming down. All right, so it goes 10 feet. And then recoils and comes back up. All right, two fifths or whatever that is. So then it comes back down. And then it comes back up two fifths. And then it goes back down. Two fifths, and back down, two fifths, and two fifths, and so on and so forth. All right, and this is not drawn to scale, just so everybody knows. Now, when we have this, it's, we're going to try and figure out when it hits the ground the fifth time. So, this is time one, time two, time three, time four, and time five. We stop right there. So, I'm going to give that one little part right there. Okay, so when we have this, we can write out our sequence, our first term, okay, is it hits the ground. And it traveled 10 feet. Our second term is going to be, well, two fifths of that. So you can say 10 times two fifths, like so. Third term, so that means we get this part right here. How high did it travel? It traveled up to here. Okay? And that's term one, oh, term two. So this is term one, term two. And then it goes up once again, and we have term three. Okay? So term three is going to be. Well, two-fifths of that. So two-fifths times two-fifths. And we have that right there. And we can go, and I'm going to change my color. So right here. And then it goes up again. So we have that, and that, and that. And this comes down right there. Okay, so those are the ones that we're accounting for. All right, so distance traveled. And then we have, this is term four. I should just use green away. All right, and we have this right here. Oh, let's keep it looking good. All right, so we go once again. Now, if you notice, um, I'm going to just change this up. Is that we're actually going to have two fifths, and this is going to be actually to the third power because it's actually going to be a second. And you realize that hey, this is going to looks it looks to be more and more like a geometric series because we're keep on multiplying by the same value each time. And then we have our fifth hit. All right, going right there, and we have ten times to the fifth. Okay, now, each time it hits the ground, now, you might be thinking, okay, this is a, it's really a geometric, but we're using these twice, okay? And you saw the way I wrote it, and didn't probably write, maybe didn't make sense to you, saying, well, what about, we're trying to figure out when it hits the ground. Well, when we figure this out, we can do this many different ways. The first thing is that what we have is each one of these represents a distance, okay? So we have the distance going up, and which is going to be geometric. So we're going to be finding, all right, the sum of this geometric sequence, and we'll start, we'll say, with closest to one, all right. And we're going to have, okay, starting right here, we're going to how many terms? We have one, two, three, four, five, five terms, okay. And we're going to have our geometric sequence, our series that we're adding together. We first start with being ten. My ratio is two fifths, and we'll go to the n minus one power. So if I plug in one, I went back to this original term. Well, what we're doing is we can find the sum of this, but essentially we're taking this sum, and which some of you probably are yelling at your screen saying, well, we, we forgot the other parts. Yeah, this part right here. So essentially, we need to take this amount and multiply it by 2. We need two of them. But then some of you are probably yelling saying, hey, hey. All right, Mr. G, my name is Mr. Tucker, by the way. All right, hey, Mr. G. You're multiplying this by 2, but you're not adding 10 twice. You're right. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to multiply this by 2, but then we're going to subtract 10. And that would be our series. That would be our sum. That would be the total distance that we're looking for 
right here. Okay? So let's do that. Let's find the sum. We're going to use the sum formula to help us figure this out. Or we can put it in our calculator, whatnot. But we'll use the sum formula to convert superstars. Okay, so this is geometric. So I'm going to take my first term, which is going to be 10. 1 minus 2 fifths, all right, to the fifth power. All right, because that's the number of terms we have. 1 minus 2 fifths. All right, we'll take that value and multiply it by 2, which will get 20, then subtract 10 at the end. So if you go to your calculators, we can put this in our sum formula or whatever we want to do here. Okay, and we'll go over here. And actually, I'm going to actually use the little sitting notation thing because it's nice, fast, and efficient. So I wrote it out two different ways, but we'll go like right here. Oops, there we go. We got one, we're going up to five, and then we're going to take this, we're going to have ten. And then I'm going to, oops, sorry. All right, and we have two fifths. Oops, can't do this, right? Two fifths raised to the, all right, x minus one power. There we go. That should be good. Press enter. And I get that amount, and then we will multiply this by 2, that's by 2, and then we'll subtract 10. And that is our value. So if we want to change this, go to math, and we have this cool calculator. We can change it to the decimal, and what we get is either one of these answers, and I'll just take that right here, and that's going to be our solution. And I'm going to answer of... 2,874 over 125, which is approximately 22.992 all right, feet. All right, that is going to be the total distance that this is going to bounce. Pretty cool, huh? So when you're doing the good old bouncing problem, the key thing is make sure, you draw an accurate picture, and you take into account both the upward distance and the bottom distance and also subtract your initial distance because you're not using it twice. Okay, So there you have it. Hope this helps you out in finding our ge using geometric series and find the sum of a practical problem of a bouncing ball. You can bounce it again. Oh, there it is. All right. Have good luck and God bless on the remaining parts um, of your homework and your problems.